peace, peace, Ali, uh, coming back at you with another video. And in this video, I want to talk about destiny, fate, predestination, and free will. So welcome back to the channel. My name is Ali. This channel is all about self-mastery and God realization. And with that, today I wanna to speak about fate, destiny, um, free will, predestination, and all the things that are, I would say, unpopular when it deals with metaphysics and the occult. And the reason I say unpopular is because when you feel like you're a god or goddess or you feel evolved or enlightened or you feel like you're reaching your higher self, um, however you wanna put it, um, most, most spiritualists, most occultists, most metaphysicians, I feel that they feel like they have a lot of control. And that's, that's, a, that's a trick of the ego. If you really had as much control and free will as you think, then manifest a million dollars right now. Have your favorite celebrity come to your crib and just kick it with you. Attract the woman of your dreams or the man of your dreams. Get the position that your heart desires. Go fly off a building. Catch a bullet with your hand. My point is, you don't have as much free will as you think you have. Just let that sink in. Cause I, I feel like that's very humbling because the universe is expansive and ginormous for real, for real. It's infinite. To sit here as a human being, where let's keep it a buck right now, humans are walking around with masks and staying six feet away and afraid of things that they shouldn't be afraid of, in my opinion. And these are spiritualists and people who consider themselves evolved. But these same people have free will to do whatever the hell they want to. It doesn't work that way. The fact of the matter and the truth, as far as from my perspective, is we have certain destiny and certain fate that we're going to come across no matter what. How do I know this? Think about a person that is in your life that's close to you right now. It could be a friend, could be a coworker or a friend, a partner, business partner, um, best friend, um, someone you consider very close to you. Now think about how you met that individual. Just think about how you met that individual. Pause this video and really sit and think about it. More than likely, there was nothing you could do to avoid meeting that individual. Think about a situation that you are either going through right now or have went through in the recent, in the recent past. More than likely, there was a series of events that led up to the moment where you had to learn a lesson or you had to get over something. We all as souls come down to earth with certain lessons and certain things to learn. If you came down here with the, um, with the intention on learning forgiveness, let's just use that, then the universe, your higher self, whatever have you, will place you in situations where you can exercise your free will to learn the lesson of forgiveness by forgiving people. But if you came here to learn the lesson of forgiveness, Yet every time you're in a relationship or yet every time somebody does something quote unquote grimy or dirty to you and you hold on to grudges, you haven't learned a lesson of forgiveness based on your free will. But if you learn the lesson of forgiveness, love from a distance, forgive them, then by using your free will, you have came down here and learned your lesson. That's how free will works. Free will works as far as how you consciously navigate between your destination points or destiny. We all have certain things that we will encounter in this lifetime. It's called destiny, or you can call it fate, or if you wanna use those words differently, that's fine as well. But there are certain things that's gonna happen, certain people that's gonna come into your life, certain people that's gonna leave your life, certain places that you will be, and certain things that you will attract and lose as part of the human design. 
when you look at it, if you want some um, references as far as um, in, in indigenous cultures or uh, evolved cultures, the Greek and Romans had um, three sisters of fate. They called them Marai. You can look that up. In ancient Khmer, Egypt, the god of, of fate or god of destiny um, named was Shea, S-H-A-I. In fact, the popular painting where the weighing of the heart, the ceremonial weighing of the heart with Anubis in there, um, the god that's prominently um, on there is Shea, the god of fate. So our ancestors even knew this. But like I said, when you become involved, when you feel like you're on the spiritual path and you feel so empowered, your ego puts up a false, um, a false tense that you can change anything that you want to. But I'm here to tell you, the, the, the more you know yourself, know your shortcomings, know your strengths, know what you're good at, know what you're not good at, the better off you'll be. That's why I said, man, know thyself. Because once you know yourself, you know your limitations and you know the things that you can magnify and help others with. But as long as you go through this, this life saying that I can do anything I want to do, I can be anything I can be and all this stuff or whatever, you're lying to yourself. Know yourself, learn your lessons and grow and evolve in that way. Then that's how you have fate and destiny work on your hand. As long as you keep resisting the things that you came here to learn, the universe will give you many more opportunities to do so. And the adage is, once you learn a lesson, you don't have to repeat that grade, similar to, similar to school. So my final message for this, and you know, is straight to the point, yes, fate is real. Yes, destiny is real. If it weren't, then how can people predict the future? How can an astrologer look at your chart and know certain things that you will encounter because there's a certain level of fate and destiny that's real on this planet. Use your free will in order to navigate it and make it um, beneficial for your soul and the soul's evolution. So this has been Ali. Um, for exclusive content, the ability to work with me and also to join a community of like-minded souls, highly suggest that you check out my flagship program, Spiritual Master Accelerator. You can find out all the information at spiritualaccelerators.com. So until next time, this has been Ali. Peace.